Welcome to Some Guy's Garage. Today we're going to take a look at 10 unique tool gifts that you won't find on most tool lists and gift lists out there. So these are fairly unique and different tools that a lot of people won't have and make great gifts. So let's get started and have a look through all of these. First up, we have a bunch of electrical testers, a couple different kinds here. Um, these usually come in sets, so I have a couple different sets, but I also have a separate one here. These ones are used for non-contact voltage detection. So you're able to see inside of an electrical box or on an extension cord if the thing is hot and has power flowing through it without actually touching anything. So I do have an extension cord here, and when you bring it close, it starts beeping. Similar with this one, this one stays on and has a little light, but beeps when you get close up to something that has electrical um, power to it. The other type here, the this one's from Fluke, so it does do a detection on a line, but this one's more for tracing wires. So within an electrical panel or something like that, where you wanna see one individual wire if it's hot, this one you have to get a lot closer and it'll narrow in on the individual wire. The other thing I have here are circuit testers. So these are a pretty simple device that you can plug into any old outlet and will show you if it's correctly wired or not. They also have a built-in GFI test capability so you can test if a ground fault outlet is working. So for the tool guy that does electrical things, if they don't already have one of these, they're very handy and bring an element of safety to the work as well. So second item here is pry bars. These are all kind of the same length, but they do come in a lot of different lengths. Great for obviously prying on things, but there's a few different types you can get. So this is just your standard pry bar. They also come, these two in particular, come as striking pry bars. So if you look at the back here, you can see uh, a metal cap and that goes through the entire handle and you're able to hit that with a hammer. So you can drive the pry bar into things that you wouldn't otherwise be able to maybe get the pry bar tip into on your own. There's also the heel type pry bar. So it just changes your angle of how you actually can pry at items. So different type with a pokey bit on the other end. And finally, this one's an indexing pry bar. So you can press a little button here to change the angle of the head itself. So these are handy if you can't position the handle exactly where you want it to actually be able to pry what you're working on. And really you can't as a mechanic or handyman ever have too many pry bars. So these make a really great gift as well. And I'd highly recommend the striking pry bars um, just given their versatility and what you can do given that you can hammer on the ends of them. At number three, the next gift we have is the Knipex pliers wrench. I've shown these on the channel before. They're one of my favorite tools. So these basically take the place of a adjustable wrench. You can open and close the jaws to any kind of given size and they clamp onto bolts really well. You can use these in place of a regular wrench and if you don't have, or if you don't want to bring 10 different sizes of wrenches, one pair of these can take the place of so many different sizes of wrenches um, and up to very big sizes as well. They grip even better than a regular adjustable wrench and work almost as well as a open-ended wrench. So I do highly recommend them. Check out my review on these if you haven't seen it already. But these make a really nice gift and will be one of the first things they grab out of their toolbox whenever doing a job. At number four here, this is another one we featured on the channel before, so check that out as well, but is a Wera brand multi-bit screwdriver. So what this is, is it takes a quarter inch bit um, it's extendable, so you can have different lengths, both the short and so the short and long version of it, and has built-in bit storage as well. And it's a very handy screwdriver to have, kind of replaces a, a bunch of them, good for in a you know traveling toolbox or something that you throw in your vehicle or a service bag or something like that. Uh, gives you lots of flexibility, and it's a really well-made screwdriver that pretty much anybody would like as a gift. At number five, we have coveralls. I know a little bit boring, potentially, you know, a pair of clothes, but really these come in handy so much. You can throw them on whenever just to go to the garage for five or 10 minutes and you don't have to get your clothes dirty. You throw these on, you do what you need to do and you take them off before you come back in the house or out of the garage or whatever work you're working on and you're clean, you're good to go. So you don't have to worry about tracking all of that mess in. A nice pair of coveralls is indispensable for working in dirtier conditions. So highly recommend as a gift to stay comfortable and keep you clean in the garage. So at number six, I've got hooks and picks and scrapers. They look like screwdrivers, but they're not. Usually they have different shaped pointy ends. So this one's a hook, you got straight picks, there's right angle ones like this, and even big longer reach ones and different styles and shapes, as well as scrapers to remove things like gaskets and stuff like that. Um, if you don't have a set of these, these come in really handy if you need to 
either take small things apart, pry at stuff. Um, they work better than screwdrivers in those cases, typically. But lets you take things apart more easily. Hoses are another good example. So a radiator hose or a vacuum line or something like that, you can slip the pick in and work it around and be able to take those off as well. You won't typically find these in tool sets, so they make a really good addition to any tool collection. At number seven is a piece of safety equipment, and that's a respirator. If you're working in anything dusty or dirty, you really should be protecting your lungs or painting. And that's what these things provide. So I have two different sets of filters on these. These ones here are the 3M 2097s, similar to the 2297s. These are designed for dust and particulate matter and things like that. And these filters, the 6001s, are designed for painting. So I use this mask for painting, even with just spray cans. And I use this mask if I'm sanding or grinding or welding or things like that. The masks themselves, these are the 3M 7500 series. These are extremely comfortable. So they have a, a silicone seal around the face and they're a lot more comfortable than just say an N95 dust mask. You can wear these all day long and still be comfortable and your glasses won't fog up because they have a downward facing exhaust as well. Um, so highly recommended as a respirator. You'll be surprised how much you'll actually use these because they are comfortable and easy to wear and uh, really do a great job at blocking out all the dust and particulate and fumes and things like that. Um, just make sure you get the right one for the application and 3M has listings to tell you what all the filters do and what the acceptable exposure limits are. So just be mindful of that. But this is a great gift and surprisingly inexpensive. Next up at number eight is a bunch of magnetic stuff. So these are magnetic trays and these are extendable magnetic pickup tools. The magnetic trays are great for just keeping screws, nuts, bolts, anything from rolling away. They'll stick uh, to the bodywork of a vehicle, like under the hood or something like that, or the top of an engine, or even just sitting on the bench, they'll keep, if you have a bunch of loose fasteners, keep them from rolling away. And if you bump it, they don't fall out, which is awesome. And then the magnetic pickup tools, are especially handy for if you drop something, of course. So they extend out and you can go and reach into small spots and pick up anything that's fallen that's magnetic. And they come in a few different styles and different magnet strengths. So depending on what you need to pick up, if it's just a light bolt or a small screw, you can get different sizes. Often these will come in a kit with a similar, like a mirror on a stick here. So if you need to see in behind something that you can't get your head in, they do make extendable mirrors that you can use for that purpose and often will come in the kit with the magnets as well. So very handy to keep you from losing things and then if you do, ways to find them and pick them up again. Great thing to have and you can really never have too many of these spread around your shop. Another unique tool at number nine is the thin wrench. So these are double-sided wrenches that are extremely thin. If you compare them to a normal wrench, you can see you know, they're less than half the size, less than half the thickness. So you don't typically use these for anything high torque, but oftentimes there are spots where you just can't fit the thickness of a regular wrench and having this to be able to slide in there and uh, still be able to hold on or turn the bolt in those tight spots is really handy. And there's not really a replacement for this type of tool in the situations that need it. And of course they come in both metric and standard. And because they come double-sided, they cover a wide range of different fastener sizes, but not something you'll use every day. But in those situations where you need it, there's really no other tool that can do the same job other than grinding down one of your good wrenches. And who wants to do that? Next up at number 10 is what looks like an ordinary tool. Everybody has a measuring tape, but these are self-locking measuring tapes. So most of the time when you pull out a measuring tape, I've got one here actually, you pull it out and it slides right back or you have to lock it manually to get it to stay. So that's typically what you use. These are self-locking. So you pull them out and they stay where you put them. So no matter how far you bring them out, they just stay put at that level. And then to close them, you actually push the button instead. And these are really a game changer. You know, most of the time with a measuring tape, you're kind of fumbling with it with two hands and have to do that. These you can just pull and you're good to go. Much, much easier to use. And they come in different brands and sizes, of course, but you need to look for that self-locking version of it. Uh, they just work a lot better and are really handy and are not the type of measuring tape most people will have. So it makes a really unique gift. Finally, one bonus at number 11 is a digital caliper. And the reason it's a bonus is I highly recommend the Michitoyo brand calipers. These are typically more in the $150 range, which is why they don't make the list for the under $100 tools. You can get less expensive ones. This is a Mastercraft, which is a Canadian brand. 
but you'll find these at Harbor Freight or a whole bunch of different brands on Amazon. These are usually fairly cheap, whereas the Michi Toyos are kind of the gold standard of calipers. And they are more expensive, but they're well worth it just given their accuracy and repeatability. What you'd use these for typically is for making very precise measurements. So these go down to the thousandth of an inch or half a thou, which is very small. So one one thousandth of an inch and can do that very, very precisely. This is good in situations where you need to measure something that accurately. So if you do something like 3D printing, where you want to recreate something or fit some tolerances together, you can measure it with a caliper and get that level of precision that you would actually need to be able to build a 3D model and print it. Or if you're measuring tolerances of parts or things like that, where you need that accuracy that you couldn't get with a ruler or measuring tape, these are the right tool for the job. So it is a bonus item at number 11 on the list, simply because it is a bit out of the the $100 budget that I set for this video, but the Michi Toyo brand is highly recommended. Otherwise, even just having a caliper like this, I use this one for many years, and for most applications, this is sufficient. So that was my top 11 unique tool gifts for this year. If you have any questions about any of these tools, let me know in the comments below. If you aren't already subscribed, please consider it. And as always, thanks for watching.